Hey guys, a lot of you have been suffering through some of my videos where in the background you could hear the 3D printer running. So I thought I would take a couple of minutes and show you one of the projects that I've been up to in terms of locks, uh, lock picking. So I've decided to use my 3D printer to create a handle for some uh, a new version, an updated version of the Quick Picks. So I use a program called 123D designed by Autodesk. I'll put the uh, link at the bottom of the screen there so you can download it. It's a free program and it really works well. Anyway, you can see this is what the pick looks like. Um, fits the hand fairly well, pretty standard. And the only difference uh, between all of the other picks and this one, let me zoom in just a bit here if I can get that. There we go. I think you can see on the front we have uh, a slot that I'm going to actually print and that slot will be already printed in there. I won't have to machine it out or drill it out or anything. And I've measured the dimensions of that to, to fit perfectly with the windshield wiper insert. So once I print this thing I can simply jam them in there, epoxy them in place, and then I can uh, uh, grind down the pick head. No big investment in this. Uh, I figure to print each of these is probably about five cents. Very, very inexpensive to print. The, the expensive part is the printer itself and, uh, and of course the time to print it out. So let's go ahead and take this plan, export it to our 3D printer and uh, start printing. All right, guys, this is what they look like when they come off of the uh, 3D printer. Now, the only trick now is to get them unstuck from this Kapton tape. So what I use is probably a pocket knife. Just stick it under the edge. And sometimes you can just fry it up. And there you go. Try not to damage the tape. It's kind of expensive, and uh, we can always reuse it if we don't damage it too bad. But there you go. There's your... There's your handles, and all of them have the slot machined right into the top. So let's stick something in there and epoxy it and see what we can do. All right, these are the little strips of the feeler gauge that I split down the middle and I cut them to length. And some other things I use are whenever I break a pick, I also cut those right down the center, and I can cut those to length as well. So I try to recycle a little bit of everything around here. So let me grind the ends of these, we'll epoxy them in, and then we'll design some tips. Alright, here we go. These seem to work out okay. In fact, i got another batch printing out right now. But uh, got everything epoxied in there. Pretty solid. And don't waste a lot of time uh, refinishing anything just yet, because chances are something will break during the manufacturing or during the heating process. So I don't want to waste a lot of time polishing. So I'm going to do the general shaping. This is, um, I think this one is a 26 thousandths, got a 15 thousandths here, so a lot of different sizes. If you have already cut up some of the sections of your uh, windshield wiper inserts, like I have here, I prefab these, they just slide right in and they're a perfect fit. You don't even have to glue them. I, mean, I do glue them, but it's so tight, you don't even have to glue it. So there you go, let's go ahead and take these green ones and start making some picks. My objective is to make a couple of D12 picks. I'm going to copy the Caveman 1966's design and make that D12 pick in a couple of different sizes and thicknesses. So let me get to the grinder. Well guys, I've been messing with this for about an hour and I'm really surprised about how easy it is. Uh, the longest waiting time was getting the epoxy to dry, but once they're in there, you just machine it or grind it by holding on the pick. It's much easier than trying to hold on to a piece of uh, windshield wiper insert or a piece of feeler gauge. Well, let me show you what I came up with. Um, the first one that I uh, made was a copy of the Caveman 1966's uh, D12 pick. It's kind of a triangular, allow you to reach up deep inside of there. And I uh, thought I'd give that one a try. That turned out pretty good. And then I figured another style hook. You can't have too many hooks, right? So there we go. And then I've always wanted a 15 thousandths. By the way, this is also this is 15 thousandths, the, uh, the D12. This next one was uh, 23 thousandths. 
And then this one is 15 thousandths, and it's kind of a copy of a DeForest hook, but I made it from 15 thousandths thickness, so I can really reach into those narrow keyways, which is, it seems to be a lot of the challenging keyways I'm running in today, into today. I made, uh, just messing around with a chainsaw file, I went ahead and put together pretty quick a, uh, a Bogota, and that one is in uh, 22 thousandths. And then I thought, why not? If I'm going to do this and I've got some 15,000 stock, why not make a 15,000 Bogota again to help me reach up and maybe help myself get a false set in some of those very narrow keyways. And it's pretty fragile material to work with, but I think we can make it work. And the last two are just picks that I put together because I've been having a lot of trouble reaching up into uh, an EVA DPI. It has very deep cut hidden behind very shallow cuts. So this is purely, this is nothing but an experiment. Uh, I made a 15 thousandths because as you know that DPI is a very thin keyway. And then just because I could I made one out of 10 thousandths as well. Just to see if we could reach up inside of there. Just an experiment. And this, by, by using this I can hook up some blanks, leave them in my bag and a, a file. And if I run into a problem where I need a customized pick, really, it's a matter of about 10 minutes to file one of these things out, sand it down, and try it out. But anyway, there you go. If anybody wants the digits, if, any, if you have a 3D printer and you want the digits for how to print these handles, I'd be happy to give it to you. Or you can also uh, download it off of Thingiverse.com. T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.